What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Today we're taking a look at Polygon and its recent price action and make sure to watch the video till the end for a price prediction for the short and the long term as well. First things first, please smash the likes, subscribe and hit the bell icon. YouTube is not pushing crypto content out currently and, it really, and our subscribers aren't getting notifications so make sure you join our free telegram to stay up to date with all of our videos that are posted. Link in the description. It really helps if you hit the like. We're posting four videos per day, so come back every day for daily updates and analysis. And make sure to comment down below for your chance to win a hardware wallet in our new monthly giveaway. We'd also like to thank you all so, so much for your support. We've just hit 10k subscribers, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, uh, just before we begin, we're just letting you know that YouTube seems to be censoring our content currently from what we can tell. Our reach to new viewers is officially down around 80% from what it was a month ago. Uh, so make sure you hit that like button now, it just lets more people see our content. We've just hit 10k subscribers as well, so thank you all so so much for all of your support. We make daily crypto videos, so make sure to check back every day, or you can join the free telegram in the description as well. Uh, you can get updates of every video that's being posted there and all of our other updates as well. Obviously, it's been a, a pretty amazing time for us. We just hit 10,000 subscribers, so thank you all so much. But um, clearly, there's something weird going on with YouTube right now where our content isn't even getting recommended to people who have the bell notifications on. So quite clearly, something fishy going on, but we're trying to work through it and grow our communities in other areas like our Telegram. So do make sure to join that. We do think it's going to be a great community going into the future. So just taking a look at Polygon here. The first thing that really pops out to us is the fact that how oversold we are. And this is the basically the main theme of our videos this week and something that we do want to keep drawing people's attention to. As we can see here, we are incredibly oversold right now. We haven't been, we haven't been this oversold for Polygon in a long, long time. The last time that we were this oversold was when we dropped from around one, uh, two cents to one cent here, which is obviously, um, you know, simpler times for Polygon clearly now being well over a dollar. So pretty incredible what we're seeing here. Obviously, um, We've had a few corrections that have got us very oversold in the past year or so, as we can see here. I really should use another chart, shouldn't I? Uh, let's use a different chart. Maybe I can get a chart that has longer history. There we go. Um, so as you can see, one of the only, like we've been oversold basically only a few times before this where we were actually this oversold in the market. And this is a theme that we've been seeing across most cryptos. As you can see, one of the only times that we have actually been this oversold previously was the March 2020 crash. We were incredibly oversold here as well, where we basically dropped from two cents to one cent, which is pretty insane in our opinion that we've come this far. As you can see, people are now complaining when Polygon goes down below a dollar, which is amazing really considering a year ago it was like less than a cent. So pretty incredible stuff in our opinion. But as we were saying, it's pretty obvious that, you know, a lot of people are calling for a bear market right now. But if we take a look at our weekly time frame, and this is, in our opinion, one of the clearest indicators that you're in a bull or a bear market, as you can quite clearly see, we haven't even lost the 20 moving average yet. In order for us to be in a bear market, in our opinion, and by our estimation, you would need to see us losing the 55 EMA here and basically uh, back uh, retesting it as resistance and then failing to break it. And from what we can tell, we're absolutely nowhere near this happening with Polygon. As we can see, we've we've barely even backtested the 20 EMA here. We haven't even backtested it really. You can see that there's quite clearly a gap here. So we haven't fully backtested the 20 EMA here at all. So if you just take a look over the, uh, let's just say from the start of the year here where we really started to pump, as you can see, we basically um, held our EMAs here very nicely as support. And then since, since then, we've just been on an absolute tear to the upside. And uh, currently we are rolling over and back testing levels of support because we're getting really overextended here quite clearly for most cryptocurrencies. And we're currently back testing the 20 here and we, ha we haven't even fully back tested it. And we're, we're showing a lot of strength for Polygon right now. Like in our opinion, Polygon could drop all the way to around 50 cents here and we'd still be really bullish because we're just back testing support. And this is often what happens. This is often what happens when you get really, really overextended. You do have to come back, roll over and retest your support for continuation. And as we keep saying, we don't think the bull market is over by any stretch of the imagination here. We can easily imagine Polygon continuing to run. For us to really feel super bearish about Polygon, we'd need to see basically uh, the price action coming down and breaking down below this 55 moving average and also dragging our 20 EMA down with it. If we do get that cross of the EMAs on the weekly time frame, we are going to uh, start to think that we're in quite a bearish trend. 
and this is usually a precursor to a bear market. But obviously, as we can see, we're not seeing any signs of that. So currently we don't believe by our estimation, at least that we're in a bear market right now. It does look as though we may be about to flip bearish on our EMAs on the daily time frame. But as we said, we are getting very oversold right now. We've only been at this oversold a few times in, in the past year or so, and every single time from what we can tell. If we just take a look at what's happened here, for example, so we can really hammer this point home. If we just take a look at the March crash here, as you can see, we got very oversold here. <clears throat> but then what happened What happened in the interim uh, was that we actually bounced very nicely to the upside. What is this gain here? I really wish that this tool would work properly. Got a nice 333% gain here back to the previous uh, levels that we were at over the course of the next month or so, the next few months. So if we just take a look at there, let's take a look at the next one. So the last time that we were crazy oversold, we actually dropped here from around uh, two cents here all the way down to almost one cent. So this is probably like a 40% drop here. As you can see, 35, 40%. And then straight afterwards in the pre, basically in the next month or so, we actually went from all the way down here, all the way up. We actually made a nice 100 or so percent gain in the next month. So as you can see, we're not saying that this is going to happen, but pretty much every time that we have got really oversold here, as you can see, we came down here, got really oversold. And then obviously you can see what happened next with this one. You could probably count this entire run as pretty much all included in this reversal. We never got this oversold again, really, from this point onwards. This is the last time we were this oversold and look what happened in the basically afterwards. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but what we are saying is that the potential for did I just delete my I just deleted my RSI. We're not saying this is going to happen, but we're saying in terms of the likelihood of uh, looking at the history of what's happened when we've seen these kinds of uh, oversold levels before and then trying to basically inform what may happen now, considering how oversold we are on the daily time frame here. I mean, even if we saw a 100% gain from here, we'd be looking at a very, very nice little pickup for Polygon. As you can quite clearly see, I mean, if we just got 100% gain from now, we'd be back up well up above two, uh, two dollars, which is obviously very nice to see. But obviously, in our opinion, we can easily imagine that getting more and more oversold as we are, the more oversold we get, the more likely the reversal becomes. And obviously, we've seen a lot of bearish, greedy bearish price action. In our opinion, uh, we are down. Let's have a look here. We're down around 61% uh, from the all-time high currently. So I'm not obviously we're not saying that we can't go lower here, but what we are saying is the further that we go down, the more likely the reversal becomes because the more oversold we get, the more likely the bulls are to jump in and have a big, big burst to the upside, basically to bring some equilibrium to the market. Obviously, we've got extremely overbought right uh, recently for Polygon, as we can quite clearly see, but we are approaching more and more and more oversold territory here. And I do think if we tap into this really oversold area and uh, come down to retest these let's say these 75 cent levels, which is possible if we do continue to roll over in our opinion, then we will be looking at potentially a huge double bottom and a very nice potential for a reversal. Because as we said, the more oversold we get, the more likely it is that we're going to get a bounce to the upside. So there's quite a lot of indicators here that uh, are showing that we are potentially uh, seeing uh, some signs of a, of a reversal. And also what we're seeing here is there's actually a hidden divergence potentially here with our price action going lower. Uh, going higher, sorry, and our uh, RSI coming lower. This is actually a hidden bullish divergence, which means that basically there's a good chance that the price action will move to the upside as well. So there's quite a lot to be bullish about, in our opinion, at the minute. Obviously, the wider market has been bearish and we could still go lower if Bitcoin does have some more FUD that drags the market lower in general. We're seeing a lot of FUD recently coming out into the markets, but being this oversold, in our opinion, it's only a matter of time, especially when we're halfway through a bull run. Uh, where we're probably most likely going to get a move to the upside pretty soon. So just take a look at the hourly chart here, just seeing what we can see. Obviously, we have flipped flip bearish in the past few days on our EMAs and we have been stuck under them, for forcing us to retest some levels here at around the $1 level. But it does look like this is a strong area of support. This is an area that we have highlighted pretty much um, all the way back here in the, over the past month or so, where we've said that anywhere below $1 is probably a very, very strong buying zone for Polygon. And as you can see, we did get this fake out below and we got a, a tap into this zone here as well. But pretty much anywhere in this zone here, it does look like we basically got a nice um, nice amount of buying pressure and the bulls are coming back into the market. So we do we can imagine if the Polygon continue to roll over, it would only be a matter of time considering how oversold we are in general that we would be seeing probably a nice bounce to the upside. 
So if we just take a look at what we're seeing here, we can see that we are starting to get back above our 20 EMA here and which we're kind of holding it as support right now. So this could be a potential sign of a reversal if we can flip our EMAs on the hourly here. We could be seeing a potential nice pump back up to some levels like this, maybe like this 120 level, for example. Um, but as we can see here, I mean, we've got bullish divergences all over the place recently because we're so oversold and there's so much greed from the bears right now. As you can see here, another bullish divergence. We've got our price action going lower, but our RSI going higher. And as you can see, we are uh, trending upwards with our RSI here and we are seeing a bounce to the upside. So in the short term, obviously, it's very difficult to know what's going to happen. But the short term price prediction from us would be, uh, depending on what Bitcoin does, uh, the more oversold we get, the more likely, likely the reversal to the upside is going to happen. And considering how many shorts there are in the market right now, it could be the case that we do see a big short squeeze, especially on Bitcoin, where a lot of people are shorting right now. And if they do get liquidated, we're going to see big jumps in the price, in our opinion. Bitcoin is still currently stuck under a resistance line at around 35k that it does need to break. But if we do see it breaking that, uh, it's around 33k right now from what we can um, from what we've seen. So if it does break above that line and start back testing it as support, we could be seeing a nice pump for all cryptos. And then, as we were saying, we do think that Polygon on a macro on a macro time frame is probably going to do extremely well. Obviously, we've got a very very we've had a very very sharp pump recently, and we could uh, come back down and back test some previous levels but in our opinion considering the demand for polygon under one dollar right now it seems unlikely in our opinion that we're probably going to see levels down like uh, for example down here in the 20 cent to 30 cent region again where we could potentially back test support if there was a huge collapse of the market so we're not saying that it isn't potential for us to come back down to these levels but what we are saying is it seems very unlikely considering the demand for polygon right now and we do think uh, polygon is probably going to do extremely well in the next year or so, we did say at least $10 by our estimation, maybe even $15 or $20 per token, considering that we're probably going to get that blow off top for the cycle once we get the bull market back underway. So that's our update today, guys. We'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, please let us know down in the comments section below. Please make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can keep up to date with all of our videos. Remember to comment down below and be subscribed to enter into our brand new monthly giveaway for a hardware wallet. If you'd like to support the channel more directly, please sign up to our Patreon via the link in the description below, or sign up to YouTube membership by hitting the join button right next to the sub below this video, where you can get access to our private Discord. We're offering coin calls, one-to-one -one access to us personally, insight into our personal portfolio, daily research of crypto assets with massive potential, and access to our brand new 100x portfolio. With so many benefits, you might as well check it out below. Don't forget to get two free stocks with Weeble by signing up and then depositing $100 using our link in the description below. You can quite literally deposit the $100, get your two free stocks and then withdraw the money. So there's no reason not to do that and they could be valued all the way up to $1,600 each. But don't forget to actually deposit as well after signing up, otherwise you won't receive the second stock. Scammers get worse every day so make sure to protect yourself and your crypto online with PureVPN. Sign up below for some big discounts. You can get access to block content and protect yourself from phishing scams with super low monthly payments and high quality speeds. You can also sign up to our free telegram via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto. So go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalists.